Hello everybody, we've got another Yankee Candle first burn review for you. Um, I'm a little bit late I guess, I'm behind a few people, but I've had other things happening as we all do, real life happens and melting stuff wasn't a priority at that moment. So anyway, let's crack on. I've got two of the next four Yankee melts from the last Paradise collection here for you today. We've got this one here, which is the wax melt of tropical star fruit, which unfortunately came like that. <laughs> um, and this one here, which is Moonlit Cove. So let's crack on with the melt. Well, I've been melting this for a couple of hours now. Yeah, well, let's see what Yankee have to say about this. So, Yankee Candles Moonlit Cove. Slip away into a hidden cove where the moonlight sparkles on the water while notes of lemongrass, ginger and woodsy botanicals enchant the senses. We have top notes of citrus, lemongrass, ginger, mid notes of purslane, nutmeg and rainbow eucalyptus, base notes of sun-washed amber and cedar leaf. Purslane is a herb that was cultivated in China, it's been cultivated there for thousands of years, it now is a lot of places in the world including India. It doesn't have much odour from what I can find out but it does have a taste and that is mild, slightly herby and tart lemony. So any sort of scent might be a bit citrusy which would work in with the citrus scents of this particular candle. Rainbow eucalyptus not getting very far on the scent here but it's also known as the Mindanio gum excuse my pronunciation or the rainbow gum from the Philippines, Indonesia and Papua New Guinea and only one of four eucalypts that do not grow in Australia so this candle comes in the standard large medium and small jars classic jars as well and tea lights, votives, and of course a wax melt. This isn't unpleasant compared to some of the others that I was burning from the first part of the Lost, Last Paradise series. It's not unpleasant. It's a little soapy, quite a light scent, slightly sweet, almost a slightly creamy scent. There's a coldness which is, I would say, the eucalyptus, because it's a bit like a eucalyptus scent in the background, and it's slightly herbal. Also, there's a slight cologne feel to it. I gather that's the amber. There's one thing that's very obvious about it. It's light. In the UK, we have had a series, it's no longer running now, called Only Fools and Horses. And you may know of it, and the lead character is Dirk Trotter. And in one of the episodes, he took a girlfriend out to the opera. They didn't like the opera very much. And she turned to Del and said, It just don't get going, Del. And that, that's exactly what I think about this scent. It just don't get going. It's a bathroom type scent, it's a sort of ocean, it's, it's nice, it's not unpleasant. I mean it's a good background scent but it just needs to be just a little bit more, just a touch because for a throw I'm going to give this about a three, I didn't get very far at all. The scent's five, it's not bad, it's not very determinable. What is in it? I can't smell the lemongrass come through. 
I can't smell the nutmeg. Likeability, I'm going to give it a six because it's not unpleasant. If you had this in a large jar, you may find if you put it under a candle lamp, you might get a very strong throw from it. Sometimes they are just very light. And considering the wax melts I had from the first part of the collection were blowing our socks off. This is what I think of Moonlit Cove. Next, we'll get on and melt uh, tropical star fruit. Well, here we are back with this one. Let's get it in shot for you which is, oh, it's not very good, sorry, tropical star fruit. The lid is already off, as I said previously. So I'm going to get on and give this one a melt for you. Well, I've finished melting the Yankee Candle tropical star fruit now. Let's see what Yankee have to say about it. Kissed by the sun, sweet notes of juicy star fruit, pineapple and citrus blend together as if they've just been picked and offered at the local market. Top notes, juicy grapefruit, pineapple, ocean breeze accord. Mid notes, jasmine, lily, and star fruit and base notes of vanilla agave and plum so these come in the scent ways of large jar medium jar small jar tea lights votives and of course the wax melt well I can tell you this, I got virtually no throw from it. It did not make it downstairs and I was downstairs for probably a couple of hours. It's not overly strong. It's very fruity. Um, himself described it as tinned fruit in the juice it used to come in with what we had in this country called dream topping, which was a, a milk powdered milk based sweet topping and probably something a bit like Cool Whip but I've never had Cool Whip so it's probably very similar you'd have that as a dessert and it was that smell and there was the, the sweetness and the fruitiness I mean both of us actually could smell peach and apricot which is very strange because neither, neither of those are in the scent list the sweetness of course is the base which is the vanilla and agave which are sweet and the plum nice ripe plum is very sweet as well jasmine lily and star fruit well that's where you've got a slight bit of floral in there it's still more fruity than it is anything else couldn't determine the juicy grapefruit or pineapple to be fair it smelt like fruit and seriously it smelt like sort of a an apricot peachy smell as I say, the scent throw, oh, I suppose we have to go for about a three to four, m maybe a three, I think, for it. The likability of the scent, I suppose about four again. And the scent itself, I suppose, despite not a very strong throw, I suppose it's about a five to six. It's not bad as a scent. Not my most favourite, but it's fruity more than floral. Both of them, for me, were very weak. I think overall I prefer the Moonlit Cove. Yeah, I think Moonlit Cove is probably my favourite. They're not scents that I'm going to rush out and buy. And whilst I like fruity scents, it wasn't quite the fruit scent that I really liked. The video that I'll link at the end of this video will be the one about candle lamps. 
And embedded in that, I actually did a review of Yankee Candles Grilled Vanilla Peaches, which I absolutely, for me, that is a scent I love. It wasn't too sweet, it wasn't too sharp. It was just nice. A scent that I could just, it, yeah, it's, it's a scent I really like. And I bought, I think, three or four of those. Really liked it. Next time I will be reviewing Cliffside Sunrise and Exotic Acai Bowl and we shall see what those are like but until then I hope you enjoyed this video give me the old thumbs up if you are new here do please subscribe and I will see you again soon take care and stay safe